So you want to be a hacker, huh? Cool. But before you go downloading Kali Linux and typing this, because some YouTube tutorial told you to, let me stop you right there. I've seen way too many people ruin their hacking journey before it even starts. Today, I'm telling you the nine things you should never do if you want to actually become a hacker. First mistake, skipping the basics to chase cool hacks. Look, I get it. You want to hack into your school's Wi-Fi or maybe test your friend's Instagram. But if you skip the basics, like how networks actually work, what TCP IP is, or why the heck DNS exists, you're setting yourself up for failure. You'll be stuck copy-pasting commands you don't understand. And when something breaks, you're damn clueless. So what to do instead? Start with hacking, the art of exploitation, or free resources like Try Hack Me's pre-security path. Learn networking, Linux, and basic programming. Yeah, it's boring until you're the one writing the exploit instead of just running it. Second mistake, hacking illegally for clout. Let's be real. Hacking your ex's Facebook or DDoSing a game server isn't cool. It's a one-way ticket to getting expelled, sued, or worse. I've seen talented kids throw away their futures because they wanted to flex on Discord. And no, using a VPN doesn't make you untraceable. Law enforcements have way bigger budgets than you. Stick to legal hacking, bug bounties, CTF competitions, or labs like Hack the Box. You'll get the same rush, but with cash prizes and job offers instead of handcuffs. Third mistake, trying to learn everything at once. New hackers are like, I need to master Python, reverse engineering, cryptography, and AI hacking. By next week, you can't. You'll burn out, feel like an imposter, and quit. I did this for six months. I learned nothing except how to panic buy energy drinks. Pick one area first. Web apps? Start with Burp Suite. Malware analysis? Learn CNX 8.6 assembly. Depth beats breadth every time. Master one skill, then expand. Fourth mistake, Ignoring privacy and OPSEC. If you're practicing hacking, even legally, protect yourself. Using your real email for shady forums, no VPN, same password everywhere, you're basically begging to get doxxed or hacked back. I once forgot to turn on my VM while testing malware and bricked my laptop, so don't be me. Use a burner email, a VPN, in a password manager. Always test code in a VM or sandbox. And for the love of Linus Torvalds, don't brag about your hacks on social media. Fifth mistake, hacking for ego, not curiosity. Hacking isn't about being the edgy genius in a dark room. It's about curiosity, solving puzzles, understanding systems, and yes, breaking them to make them better. If you're just in it to feel superior, you'll crash hard. Real hackers collaborate, share knowledge, and yes, stay humble. Join communities like Reddit or Discord hacking groups. Ask questions, help others, and remember, even the pros get stuck. The difference? They Google it instead of quitting. Sixth mistake, using tools you don't understand. Look, I get it. Tools like Metasploit or Skewel Map feel like cheat codes. But if you're just running Mess Console and praying for magic, you're not a hacker. You're a script kitty with extra steps. Tools are useless if you don't know why they work. Imagine trying to fix a car by smashing buttons on the dashboard. Reverse engineer one tool this week. Watch a walkthrough of how SQL Map detects vulnerabilities. Or write a basic port scanner in Python. Tools amplify skills. They don't replace them. Seventh mistake, ignoring the power of documentation. If your hacking notes look like a ransom note written by a toddler, you're doing it wrong. I used to think, I'll remember this later, until I spent three hours Googling the same error I solved last month. Pros document everything. Failed exploits, weird bugs, even random ideas. Use Obsidian or a GitHub repo to organize notes. Write mini postmortems after labs. Why did this work? What broke? Future, you will send thank you cards. Eighth mistake, hacking alone in a bubble. Hacking isn't a solo mission. If you're not talking to other hackers, you're missing 90% of the learning. I stayed silent for years because I thought my questions were dumb until I joined a CTF team and realized even experts get stuck on easy challenges. Join a Discord server like Hack the Box or Nullbyte. Share your half-baked ideas. Someone might spot the flaw you missed and mentor others. Teaching cements your own knowledge. Ninth mistake, pretending you know it all. Nobody cares if you pretend to understand buffer overflows. I used to sit through entire conferences just nodding like a bobblehead, terrified of looking dumb. But guess what? Admitting I don't know is the fastest way to learn. The hacker community respects curiosity, not ego. Ask stupid questions in forums. Watch beginner tutorials, even if you're advanced. The more you admit gaps, the faster you'll grow. 